In this Canva tutorial, let's take a look at how to edit text on Canva mobile. Now, that's a pretty broad topic, so there's a lot to know here. But when you have text in your document, it's pretty easy to actually edit the text. You tap on it once and it selects the text box. You tap on it again and you're in the text editing mode. So from here, you can click around, uh, double click on elements to highlight them. Maybe click and drag, if I can get the right spot on this guy, click and drag on those handles to then highlight multiple. And from there, if I want to, I can use the keyboard at the bottom and just kind of be able to type whatever I want in here. So maybe I'll just type a little bit uh, of text in here, space, and now I've edited the text inside of here. The other thing you can do while you're editing is if you highlight anything like words or whatnot, You'll see a bar pop open at the bottom here. You can actually change the color of individual words or phrases. You can change whether something is bold, italicized, underlined, or uh, all three, really. There's a strike through effect. And then all of these other elements like changing the capitalization, uh, changing the font, the font size, all of these from here over affect the entire paragraph of text. So changing fonts and stuff will, uh, you can only have one font for like a text box, for instance. Although if you have some returns and uh, basically you pressed enter on your text a little bit, you can actually add bullet points in your text here as well, as well as um, change the text spacing, letter spacing, line spacing, and all that. Now, some of these options are available in another spot. So this is all when we have uh, the editing text mode up. But if we just click out and then click back on here, now we just have, well, let's try again. We're gonna try to just grab the text box again. There we go. We've got the text box only. We don't have the cursor to edit text. So with this, there are still a lot of edit options. For instance, we can scale our text box in and out. So if we click and hold here on this little handle on the side, we can scale in and out on this text box. Uh, we can also scale our text up and down real easily with any of the corner handles. And so that'll actually increase the text size and uh, it'll scale it up proportionally. We can rotate text here with the little rotation tool here at the bottom and it'll lock into like zero and 90 and things like that pretty easily. And then at the very bottom, we have a, um, a menu for this uh, paragraph text as well. So we've got the edit option here, which is basically if you were to tap again and edit text, that's how you can do that. You can also change the font here. So we can change the font and then look for this up arrow to be able to select some more fonts, search for fonts and kind of browse around. You can change text styles. So that's like your heading, subheading and body. You can apply those to this text. Uh, we can keep going. You have font size, pretty easy. You're gonna have like a little, uh, what do you call this, like a little slider that you can click and drag on. You can also type in a font size. You have font color as well, so you can just select a different color for that font or that text. You have some formatting stuff. We talked about this, like bold, italics, stuff like that. But this will do it to the whole paragraph text, whereas if you select and highlight areas, uh, that'll pop up and you can do it individually. You can align text, left, center, right. You can justify text, which puts all the words across the whole text box. Uh, and then there's, of course, the bullet points and uh, numbered bullets down here. And then you can change from uh, uppercase to lowercase or whatever the original case was. So like if it's sentence, there'll still be some capitals. You can see like this T is capitalized up here. But that's formatting. Spacing, talked about that as well. You can change letter spacing. So spacing between letters. You can also change line spacing, spacing between lines. We call that leading. And then you can change where the uh, where the spacing or the leading, the line spacing, where it anchors in the text box. And so if it pushes it from the top down or the bottom up, for instance, you'll see that difference here as the words push upward when we increase the spacing as opposed to from the center out or from the top down. And we have some other options here. We have some effects. We can animate text. We can adjust the transparency of our text as well if we don't want it to be fully transparent. Uh, inside of the effects, you can do shadows. You can do outlining text. You can do all kinds of things like making, giving it a neon glow, for instance. 
Uh, you can also adjust the shape of the text, so like adding a curve to it. And then I'm going to undo that because that threw our text over on the left. So let's undo that real quick. And then uh, you'll have some normal things here at the right. So like layers, position of your text in your document. You can arrange it, align it. Uh, so you can align it to the middle, for instance. Uh, and then advanced is like the width. Well, you're gonna for a text box, you just have the width. The height will be determined by how much text you have. And then you have the X and Y values. So that's your position in your document that your text box is. Uh, the more option gives you options to like copy paste, even copying styles, duplicating. You can lock your text box. Uh, and obviously you can link text as well. That's an important one if you want to hyperlink uh, some text to be able to be clicked. And of course you can delete text right here too. But that's kind of all the options for editing text here on Canva Mobile. I mean, this last one I didn't cover is Magic Write. So you can click on that and actually like use AI to help you rewrite or shorten text or make it more formal. Um, you can create a summary. You know, there's lots of different options here for uh, AI. And, you know, you only have so many credits and some of this is pro, like Canva Pro only. So if you want to try out Canva Pro, you can try it with the link in the description. But that's some of those options down there. That is, I believe, everything I can think about, about how to edit text here on Canva Mobile.